Hello, everyone, and welcome to oh, sorry, well, you're with her. the Experience Podcast. Uh, it's just me this week. Uh, I know I've been doing a bunch of these, but I've been pretty busy. I've actually have a decently busy travel schedule this next uh, kind of month, so that's why we're doing this. Um, and, uh, you know, people are busy, so uh, we're doing more of these commentaries. This one, we're, I'm kind of going, I'm trying to go kind of in order. Um, but this one, this one's, I think, pretty interesting. This is a, this is, to the best of my knowledge, the only episode that I am not in. So it is episode number 20, the meta episode, is what I called it for, for some reason. Um, and <clears throat> this is one where I let Connor and Tanner uh, do a podcast. They they met uh, a couple people, Alex and Macy, at... Uh, a gathering, a social gathering, is what I'll say. And <laughs> I guess they brought them on. I'm I'm trying to remember the full story, but that's pretty. That's the that's the. Sorry, I'm adjusting like my headphones. Um, so that's the gist of it. <laughs> they met them, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Hey, we're doing a podcast. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to come on?" So that's what we're doing here. We're gonna we're gonna do a uh, commentary for this episode. Again, I I'm not on this episode. I have listened to it um, when I when I edited it. I did listen to it, uh, but I haven't listened to it, you know, since then. So you know, this was released in November 2018. So I probably haven't haven't really listened to it since then. But let's get into it. Uh, you know, the usual things. We're going to break this down into three different parts. It's a long episode. It's 55 minutes. So yeah. Um, and I will I will let you know when I when I jump in to to make any remarks or whatever. But here here we go. So yeah, we were just talking about Up and The Incredibles, and those are my favorite Pixar movies. Connor, mm-hmm. what about you? I would agree. I think Up is my favorite Pixar movie. Mm-hmm. I think I don't know, it's, a, it's a good movie. Okay. Okay. Now that you right. mentioned it, I don't know. I can't remember any Pixar movies. But I guess I would rock with, is Toy Story Pixar? Yes. Mm-hmm. The first okay. one, right? The first one only? I think it was, well, I think Toy Story, the first one was They're Pixar. Pixar. Right? Well, I mean, the, oh, they it was it. Pixar's first film, right? Oh. Uh, right? Yes, I think it was. Let's pause it here. Let's do a fact check. <laughs> um, yes, Toy Story was uh, was Pixar's first, and uh, all the Toy Stories are, are Pixar movies. So, as Tanner struggles through that, uh, that's your maybe, maybe this maybe my commentary will just be a fact check on the <laughs> things I said. But, but anyway, there we go with the OG. You know, there's mm-hmm. a weird era where it's like Disney Pixar, and then people would fight over which one had claim to which movies. But that was annoying. I think my favorite is definitely Wally. <gasps> Wally. I forgot good. about that. Love space. I'm yeah. ready for that future. Yes. Mm-hmm. The, Are they making the, the Wally too? Was that a rumor? I don't think they're making Wally too. Okay, I thought I read something. Oh, Wally too. Be too like happy. Like everything's just going from bad to good. It's just. Or maybe it's like they they go back to Earth and it's what does Wally do now or something like that. It could happen. It could happen. Potentially. Potentially. I could see it. <laughs> Thank you. This is the Experience Podcast, episode 20, special edition. We, it is me and someone else. And someone else. Do I, do you want me to, I always wanted to say to someone else. Well, usually you, you Daniel will introduce else. himself as someone else and someone else. And no, I, Daniel usually says, it's me and someone else. I'm usually the someone else, you're the someone else. And then he else. says, and someone else, and someone else. Yeah, and you just did that. Okay. Yeah, and it's sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and so, the someone else's can yeah. introduce themselves. Okay, well, I am Macy. Excited to be here. I'm Alex. Also excited. And I mm-hmm. thought it was episode 19. This It was. Well, I lied. So we recorded yesterday also. Okay. And then I forgot that, like, when you record some, something, like, beforehand, the number goes up by one. So <laughs> Counting is, is hard. Counting is hard. Yeah. So this is episode 20. The previous and, yeah. episode was with Peter and Daniel. With Peter and me. You were on that? I was that one that I'm on, I'm on the Experience Podcast. Do you not know that? I I thought you weren't available. No, I was. Oh, yeah. okay. It's his cast. And we're going to pause here. The riveting conversation. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is this is one where I don't remember why it wasn't on this one. I think I was. it was a combination of I wasn't available and um, they met 
up with them and wanted to do a podcast. Like by they, I mean Tanner and Al- uh, Tanner, Tanner and Connor met up with them, as I as I kind of described earlier, and uh, <clears throat> wanted to bring them on, but I can't recall sort of why I didn't go on. Maybe, maybe they'll talk about it, but yeah, okay. Well, let's, let's, see what, let's see what they say. And also, you like lying is a very common theme, because mm-hmm. I've realized your name? name is not... My name? Yes. I, how, why would you know... How'd you... I said... I think I spoiled it. You spoiled it? I still yeah. don't know. It's Connor. Oh, really? Okay. It's my actual yeah. name. It's not Chad. Uh, that yes. was... That is confusing. Yeah. He, he likes yeah. to confuse people. I know. Well, because usually, you usually see someone, like, at a party, and you usually never see him again, so I just, like, make up a name. Sometimes, it's mostly, it's been Chad lately. I knew it wasn't Chad. 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 I knew from Chad. the beginning. Yeah. He doesn't also, know Chad. for the listeners, we met at a party. We met, we met at a, at a, um, yeah. A Halloween party. A Halloween party. Mm-hmm. Spooky. Yes. Uh, it was it spooky? Uh-huh. No, nah, they stole the, the blow-up. They did, the so that was pretty spooky, because I was, like, legally, like... Uh, not cool. Yeah. Uh, it was a great but, area. I guess. Yeah. They had like seven that they stole. Yeah. I overheard some conversation. Well, the, we um, were in the conversation. We were, but we weren't like talking to them. We were just yeah. kind of like standing there so we wouldn't get kicked out of the party. But. Yeah. Why would you get kicked out of the party? I don't know, some people Some people were looking at us in the oh, frat yeah. because yeah. we were just some random dudes that. Weren't in the frat. Weren't in the frat. I see. So. I don't have that problem because I'm not a random dude. Oh. That's yes. true. Sad. Well, it's random. Pausing here. Uh, this is going back. I'm a little behind here, but um, Connor famously uses the, the fake name Chad. Why does he do it? No, well, the the world may never know. Uh, but anyway, okay, we'll get back into it. Random dudes. It's a little bit harder to get into a party. Mm-hmm. So how'd you get in that night? We followed some girls. We followed some, well, yeah, you knew like, them. You knew the girls. I knew them. Yeah, and I was like, just we're with them, and they're like, oh, okay. I also know someone in that press. So we could have gotten in just fine, but. It's, just, it's it's fun to play risky. Yeah, just give a fake name. Mm-hmm. What, were you, what were you dressed up as? I was a sexy cop. It was he not. Was it was a, a suit. A, he was wearing a gold suit. I was wearing my gold suit. A shitty gold suit from Amazon. It is not. It is a nice gold suit. It's not. It's like it's like made out of polyester. polyester so it's, it's, it, it, really... it's nice. It's shiny. That one guy complimented us when we were walking back. Yeah, we were walking back and some guy is like, well, real cool costume. What are you supposed to be? And he said... Sexy cop really loudly. Sexy cop really loudly. And of course. Not the, really loudly. It was normal fun. But the, the actual cops, like GTPD, was right behind him. Yeah. And like, he was waiting like, for them to go. Yeah. So it's kind of awkward. Cause... You thought you were like catcalling him? Yeah. <laughs> sexy cop. Yeah, yeah, sexy cop costume. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was my. I, it, it's not really a costume. It's just because that, that was the only thing I had. So. Yeah. I feel like you could have come up with a better like name for that. But Willy Wonka was good. Oh, okay. You could have just been the golden ticket. Could have been the true. golden ticket. I didn't think about that. That sounds much better. Yeah. Next year. Next, Next year, year I'll be the golden ticket. Again. Or you could just like paint your whole body golden. Like just stand still in the middle of the party. That's be way like, That is a lot. That's, that's a, a good great idea. idea. When people come up to you, you just yeah. like move. And then people be like, you're not in this frat. Can you leave? And I'll be like, I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a minute. Uh-huh. I'm going to stay there for the whole party. That's a good idea. That's a good actually. idea. That requires some dedication. Not really. Just stand yeah. there. Paint your face gold. I feel like, I mean, pretty pretty difficult. I don't know. Getting that like gold paint out of your face is kind of. It would take a long time. It would just be a process, and you have to put it on. You have to have someone put it on. Someone put it because you can't put it on yourself. It, yeah. I mean, no. it just seems like a process. But if you're willing to go above and beyond, like those mm-hmm. people that that actually do the costume for like money, you know what I'm talking about? Like, mm-hmm. like on the street. Yeah, like, on the street, they just like stand oh, still. Oh, the statues. Yeah. The sta- fake statues, human statues. You can be one of those guys mm-hmm. at a party, not an actual statue. You are a human so I'm I'm statue. like pretending to be a statue. Yes. No, no, you're pretending to be a human statue. One of those guys on the streets. So I'm pretending to be one of those guys on the streets. Correct. Who's pretending to be correct? A human statue. Or nope. real- Pausing here. I have no idea what Tanner is talking about. Uh, I am lost. I'm like <laughs> sometimes I'm like trying to rationalize. What is Tanner? You know, I guess this is a. Uh, I don't know, a common theme of, of <laughs> any of my conversations with him and all that. But, uh, yeah, I am not sure what he's talking about. But, anyway, let's get going. Here. Nope, a, statue. A, a real statue. That's a, maybe a statue of a human. Okay. If that makes sense. I'm here for that it. May, yeah, <laughs> that's next year. That's next year. Okay. Yeah. I'd, I'd be willing to to double. I'd be like a fake Statue of Liberty. If you, and I would be, be like the new like Buddhist statue that they just made. This the 
Which one? I don't know. The new one. Well, you have to go with the gold suit because you already have the gold suit. Oh, so it's got to be like, I could be like a, a gold, I don't even know who it was. Buddha, I Willy guess? Wonka. I could be, yeah, a gold, gold Willy Wonka. Gold Willy Wonka. Full yeah. circle. And uh, mm -hmm. I'll be the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. What about you guys? What do you think? Yeah, what do you guys? What's your, what's your year? Ha next year Halloween plans? It's, a, it's a next year 361 Halloween. days away. Yeah. But. Oh wow, you already know. Um, <laughs> we were kind of talking about this on the way over. We were just like we both just like finished watching *Chilling Adventures of Sabrina* on Netflix, which is like <laughs> *Sabrina: Teenage, Sabrina, Teenage Witch*, Witch, which is like okay. dark, dark. Mm -hmm. But there's like these like triplet like witches, and they're like very much like my aesthetic. So like that's what I want to be. Very creepy, good stuff. But Definitely yeah. witchy. Huge fan of witchy vibes. My costume mm -hmm. this year was really bad. I like tried to be a vampire, but I didn't really commit to it. So I just kind of wore black. That was good. You had like the bite mark going on. I did have a little bite mark. mark. And then some temporary tattoos. <laughs> some temporary tattoos. Yeah. Did you do anything else after you left? No, not really. That was about it. We went back. Well, because I had, I had class the next morning at 8 a.m. I had an exam the next day. Really? Yeah. And you still... Okay. Yeah, I went to Buckhead after that too. Me too. Really? Oh my gosh! Wait, where'd you go? Well, I went to MJQ, which isn't Buckhead, but okay. definitely did not go home at a reasonable hour. Oh, same. I went to Lost Dog, and did I tell you about our Uber there? No. Emma called us the weirdest Uber ever. It was this dude, and we got in the car, and we were with Clarice, who's like the hottest person ever. Like it's everybody's true. super into Clarice, and I think that's why he was like being really creepy. Mm -hmm. And he goes. You guys, pausing here. I have no idea who these people are. <laughs> I still, I didn't know at the time, and I still don't. Um, I, I, I am like, I, I don't remember what they talked about on this podcast. It's been so long. The other ones I'm like, like the other ones that I've done, the other commentaries I've done, I'm like, okay, yeah, I remember now. We got to this part of this part, but this one, since I guess I wasn't a part of it, I'm just like, I, I don't know where any of this is going. Um. And, you know, Alex and Mason are great guests. <laughs> they never came on again. I don't know if Tanner and, and Connor ever talked to them again after after this podcast. Maybe this was the, <laughs> the beginning of the end. Uh, so, but we'll, let's hear what happened with, with the Uber. Do so you guys know what you are? And we're like, what? He said, you guys are head nurses. And we said, well, what does that mean? He's like, it means you like giving head. And I'm the head doctor. Which is like a really confusing statement because the I don't know. The Uber driver said that. The Uber driver said that. Huh. What? That's, that's, that's an interesting one. There's that. a lot of like because if he's the doctor, then he's in charge of telling you what to do, but you're not doing it to him. But also, does it mean that he oh. is better so at giving the head? head patient. But that's if you're the head doctor, does that mean you're better at giving head than a head nurse, or does that mean you had to pay a lot of money? Yeah, he has a PhD in yeah. giving head. Giving head. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was just very confused by that. He had a really weird name too. I can't remember at the moment, but yeah, I hit Lost Dog. I they were serving like burgers at Lost Dog. Ooh, that's a key. Mm. I got one. It did. It was not. It was questionable meat. I, so I immediately oh, left after Mystery eating meat. it. Mystery meat. Mystery meat always fun. And Sweet then meat. I actually almost got in a fight at Lost Dog too. Oh, that's Tell us about that, please. Yeah, that's a, that's a good, <laughs> good. It was barely. Well, I was just like, I feel like there's like a point sometimes at nights where you're just like, I need to get home. Like, I don't care, like, what happens, I just, like, need to leave at this moment. So I was, like, at that phase, and so I just, like, left my group of friends, which is kind of my MO, mm -hmm. and I was trying to leave, there's, like, one path to the door, and there were these girls in front of me, and they were, like, kind of, like, stop and go, like, they would, like, not, like, commit to fully, like, walking, mm -hmm. so I kind of just, like, gave a big shove, <laughs> and I was, like, if you're gonna move, you need to move. And then they started like cursing me out, and I just kind of like ran out and got into my Uber and came home. Wow. wow. So the lesson is to keep walking at a consistent pace. Keep a path to the door. Yeah. That's not good. That's assault. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's. I mean, I don't know. I didn't. Yeah. I'm still not over the Uber driver. No, so you're still thinking that, about was, that. There's that yeah, statement what? is just so confusing. That's a you weird don't say one. that to people. Pause in here. I do not recommend making that statement. Yeah, uh, if you're an Uber driver out there and you're listening, um, yeah, I would. I if you're gonna have that thought, keep it to yourself. You know, maybe you shouldn't externalize any of those thoughts to uh, college college girls in your Uber. Um, <laughs> the other one other thought that uh, uh, crossed my mind here, uh, we did record. This was another uh, studio episode. We did record. Or, well, I say we. They recorded the uh, the episode in the, in the uh, Georgia Tech 
the studio, podcast studio. It's, I, we call it the podcast studio, but it's, it's just a recording studio area. Um, so that's why the audio is a little better. It's better than what I have right now. Right now, I'm in my little apartment. Uh, at some point, maybe we'll we'll get the we'll get the tech better. We'll get, we'll we'll get back to uh, having some good audio uh, equipment and things. But you know, you guys have to keep listening. If you keep listening, then we'll we'll up the the quality. But uh, so <laughs> I'll put it on you. <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, so there they are in the studio. Uh, we're gonna keep going here. Uh, we're right. I'm just checking the time here. Yeah, we're doing well. Okay, let's keep going. I mean. <laughs> He did say that out of 1,200 Ubers, we were top five. So maybe we handled that statement better than other Ubers have? Yeah, maybe he's used that before. Yeah. It's like his go-to line. (laughs) How well they receive it is how well he likes that Uber. Or Mm -hmm. that... Yeah, maybe he says that to every Uber, like just no matter who's in it. Just the gauge. Yeah. He he like (laughs) ranks them. That was a good response. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. And so did you respond after that? Like, did you say, hey... Please don't talk to me ever again. Mm-hmm. Give, a, did you give him zero stars or? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't call the Uber, so I don't know how many stars. I'm trying to figure out his I, name I, though. That's not like can... tippable. Like I feel like he would have to like tip you for saying that. His that's name true. was Flintnor. Yeah. Flint- 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 no way. Flintnor, Flint- 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 which is a very strange name. Yeah, that's the head doctor. No. Wow. He said that. He's the head doctor. He really is. That's kind of crazy. No, yeah. It's like an elf name. Flint or the head doctor, or Flint nor PhD. PhD, PhD. Doctor <laughs> Flint nor, if you will. <laughs> oh my goodness! Like I don't even know what like nationality that is. Like what is what is Flint nor? Elfin. It's <laughs> Elfin. Yeah. He's an Elfin. Elfin. He is an, He's elf. an Elfin prince mm-hmm. who became a doctor. Pausing here. I'm looking up Flint nor. I cannot find it online. Maybe 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 they're pronouncing it wrong or something. I don't know what. I don't know what name that is. Um, <laughs> I can't find it. So uh, just, just yeah. again, this is a part part commentary, part fact check, but I can't fact check the, uh, the origin of Flintnor. Okay, let's keep going. He became a doctor, a head doctor, a head doctor, mm-hmm. top of his class and giving head. Mm-hmm. Very accomplished. <laughs> you should respect that. <laughs> I, mean, I would say. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Our nights were a lot. A lot more tame. We didn't find any Uber drivers that were kind of creepy. No. You cat called a cop. Cat, cat, called, cat a called a cop. cop. It yeah. happens. Yeah. It just, I was cat. Well, it was it was like a cat call like triangle. <laughs> like they cat called me. I cat called the cop. On cop. accident. On accident. Yes. And then he was like, yeah. But, <laughs> Have you ever yeah. legitimately cat called? No. No. That's Isn't good that to hear. Derogatory. No. It is very derogatory. Maybe like ironically, I can't think of it if I have though. Cause I feel like I feel like that's something I could have done. I think it's something that happens in like Popeye cartoons and like really old cartoons where cat calling. Yeah, I mean it's it. I don't think it's a thing that happens anymore. I mean I haven't seen it. No, I haven't either. Is it? Right. it I mean we I wouldn't. Mean, know. We don't get yeah. cat called. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's no. a real thing. Really? Yeah. yeah. I was walking at like ten in the morning one time, and actually it was earlier than that. It was like eight in the morning because I was walking into like a rush thing, and I was wearing a skirt, and this guy he just like. Honks, 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 honks. He's like, he just gives me a little wave, and it was very, it was like, a little much, just because I was so tired. It was just literally the sun had just come up. Yeah. But that's not a good time. Like I feel like if there's like an opportune time to cat call. Pause in here. Um, okay, interesting line. Pause on. Uh, just like with the uh, Uber driver line, I would also not recommend cat call. Um, <laughs> anyone really, not just women, but anyone. But you know. Uh, yeah, I, I would not do the cat calling. There's really no point. You're not gaining anything. They're not gaining anything. It's just making people feel uncomfortable. There's really no point in doing it. Okay, so let's just let's just stop with the cat. <laughs> let's not do it. But let's hear what Connor has to say about cat calling. Mm-hmm. Like I think before noon, it's just like kind of like a, a no zone. It's just like I don't know. It's too early for the shit. Yeah, it's a blanket rule for guys. If you're gonna cat call. Please, just Af- like after, after 12 p.m. Mm-hmm. Really? Is it is it being called? Is it cat called if you're a male? I think males can be cat called because oh, okay. <laughs> I've been cat called like on my runs because I run shirtless. Really? I, I, yeah, it's only happened about really? like, five times. Yeah, usually because I go I run to Pima Park, mm-hmm. and that's where like the you know Rainbow Road is, which is you know your. I literally mm-hmm. thought you were talking about Mario Kart. Right? Yes. <laughs> well, I don't know what it's actually called, but that intersection where it has like yeah, yeah. yeah. and that's usually where it happens. It's usually some. 
gay men who like call me delicious. <gasps> is that and a ten a.m.? It's usually not ten. I don't run at ten a.m. When do you run? Early. I run like usually five p.m. Oh, okay. It's like happy hour. It's like yeah. happy hour. Yeah, They've had some drinks. They cat call me. It's like I don't know. I mean, do, I'm fine do with it. Do they whistle? They don't whistle. Okay, because in my mind, that's what a cat call is. It's like the oh, right okay. from like a, a cartoon okay. kind of thing. That's mm-hmm. I never had that happen. Yeah, I don't, I've never been called delicious either. No, <laughs> it's a bit forward. That is a bit forward. Yeah. It was weird because it was at like an intersection. So I was like waiting at the road mm-hmm. with the rainbows. There's some bars around there. Yeah, and that's where it was. And like there was just some, like a, a group of men sitting in the bar. And they also like they kept complimenting my body, and, like saying you look nice, nice naked man. And so it was, I don't know, it was an experience. The experience. It was the experience. Oh my gosh, we're doing yeah. it. Full circle. So wow. that happens. Well, I I haven't been catcalled. You haven't been catcalled. Proud to report. Maybe I should go running. You should go running. Uh, we can go I'm running. Careless. Both get catcalled. Yes. Okay. I'll try it. I don't. It, 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 I don't think I want to be like catcalled though. You know it's, it didn't seem fun. No, it's it's, it's not. not that fun. I mean, it's like it like makes you feel good, but at the same time, it's like weird. It's just creepy. I'm like yeah. always just waiting for like someone to do it on Nav, like North Ave, like when I'm walking down, because mm-hmm. I'm like ready just to like yell. I just want like yeah. Well, yeah. Sometimes I'm just like in a like I don't know. Sometimes I'm just ready to like tell someone like fuck off. Mm-hmm. So I'm like re- I'm like always like prepared for it to happen. It. <laughs> Sorry. It's an occasional thing, but not really that often. I'll yell at, like, people I know sometimes on the street. That's true. If I see someone I know, like, running, I'll be like, hey there. I don't know. Really? That's that's a good cat call. I can use that. But it's your friend, so it doesn't have the same. But then it is hard sometimes because they don't know if it's you. That's true. Which can be risky. And then they'll call you and be like, yeah, someone just, like, yelled at me. And you're like, that was me. Sorry. (laughs) I apologize. Mm Usually on the way to Marta, if I walk to Marta, there's always people out. Because, like, you have to walk by, like, the Varsity and Goodfellas oh, yeah. and the gas station. Mm-hmm. There's always people just standing there. I'm like, this is fun. That's my favorite part of living on North Ave, just the crackheads. That's true. There's, they're always out. Really? You got <laughs> any hours stories? Do you have any crackhead stories? I don't really have any good crackhead stories. Well, actually, I used to work at uh, the Starbucks, like, in Tech Square. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't, like, crackheads, but there was, like, a lot of homeless people who, who like, would, like, just, like, stay there all day. And I was like, one time I was like wiping like a surface down and this guy was like, this is homeless guy and he's like super drunk and he was just like, oh, my life would be so much better if you would just marry me. Hmm. So I did get a proposal. Whoa. Um, was that before 12 p.m.? Yeah. It was after 12 p.m. So oh, okay. it was valid. It's more reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that Starbucks actually sucks. But the weirdest thing I think ever happened there was like one time I was on the register and this guy came up and he was like, hey, like, I have a question. And I was like, well, what? Like, what's up? And um, he was like, could you, like, put this in the oven for me? And he holds up, like, this tube of, like, half-eaten, like, raw cookie dough. Uh, it's really and I was like, I no, like, sorry, it's against health code. And he's like, oh, he was, like, very understanding about it, like, after he just, like, left. <laughs> but I was just like, that's kind of, like, a lot to assume with me. Yeah. I was just like, do that. Dude, what the heck? Just, like, actively, like, walk into a restaurant and just, like, because uh, he must have been, like, a <laughs> Mugging here. I'm trying to think if any restaurant would actually heat up something for you, like heat up used food. I'm I'm using I'm calling it used. Food. <laughs> um, but I don't think any restaurant would even do that. Let alone the Starbucks. That doesn't. Really, I mean, they have like a little oven, but they're not like a. They're more of a cafe. Um, that, that's wild. Like, <laughs> you know, restaurants don't do that. Um. I, this guy is was a Rainier Jersey fan. I'm trying to think of like um there weren't that many uh weren't that I'm just trying to remember the uh the area surrounding Georgia Tech. I mean it's in midtown Atlanta, you know, right near downtown. So you do get a lot of uh different types of people, that's how I'll describe it. <laughs> but uh yeah, okay, well anyway, let's let's just keep going. Expecting, like you'd be able to just put in the oven, just bring ingredients, like, just like, just like have your raw cookie going dough. down the restaurants. Mm-hmm. Like the Starbucks might be able to cook my my cookies for me. I wonder if he did hit all of those on that road because there's a bunch of restaurants. Yeah, there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just seen who would do it. Would you do it for like twenty dollars if he like slipped you twenty bucks? He's like, oh yeah, fired cookies. man. That's 20, oh, okay. twenty bucks. Twenty okay. bucks. I mean, actually, that would be more than I made in like three hours working there. But I mean, probably not, just because. 
I just can't deal with all that for minimum wage. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between that Starbucks and the Starbucks Reserve that's like in the fancy area? Mm -hmm. So that Starbucks in Tech Square sucks. Mm -hmm. I would encourage everyone to boycott it because I hate the management. It's terrible. It's like a licensed Starbucks, so it doesn't take like rewards mm -hmm. and they like it doesn't yeah, take rewards that. yeah Bullshit. but you can get free the one nice thing about that one is you can get free refills like on like anything like you just bring in a receipt from that same day even really? if you like, left yeah wow. well it's really like god to get into like the starbucks policy it's like iced coffee iced tea iced tea lemonades hot coffee but like yeah you can get free refills mm -hmm. but my manager sucked there and like all the managers at that like barnes and noble are just like awful they're like terrible people mm -hmm. Like this one, one of my coworkers, like, I'm saying like so many times, but um, he like made a sandwich for a customer and they left it behind. So he like ate it on his break and they called GTPD on him and got him banned from campus uh. for like theft. Oh. But yeah, at the Starbucks Reserve, I would encourage you to go there because that's an actual Starbucks. They take rewards. It's a reserve location. So I think they have like reserve coffees. Like, like it's like these like special like blends that are like more like small batch. And I like those a lot more than like the regular like Starbucks stuff. Because mm -hmm. okay. that's what I had to do because my mom, like she goes to Starbucks and then lets me use the rewards because she knows I'm poor. <laughs> and so like I, that's when I had to walk to. And, like it, it's just like so fancy in there. That like, I didn't feel comfortable. It's like, <laughs> it's like outside of like my, my in, like norm. So I was just curious, just like felt you didn't belong. I felt like I didn't belong. Like the thing, it was like everything was like handwritten in chalk. Mm -hmm. like, I, was, I was like, this, this place is nice. Try going to an actual coffee house. I went to a Starbucks Reserve in Seattle, and it was like massive. It was probably I don't know the size of like a huge restaurant, and they had like all the coffee beans were roasted there, and they had like a bunch of different options, like yeah, and flights of iced coffee. Okay, we're gonna pause there. I'm trying to find a good spot. I think we're gonna we're gonna stop there. Um, on this note, I'm trying. To see, I don't think I've ever been to a Starbucks Reserve. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Um, I guess it's a it's a thing. Currently seven in operation. Wow. Well, there you go. I don't think there's a Starbucks reserve in Atlanta anymore. If there was one. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Starbucks reserve. Well, you know what? There's one in Seattle. Maybe I'll check. Anyway. Um, Oh, we first opened in December 4, 2014. Interesting. Okay. The rarest and best quality coffees are at these. Okay, they sell the Starbucks Reserve coffee at places. So that's that's what we're doing. Anyway, um, we're right around the 19 minute mark on this on this episode. On the uh, on the uh, the original episode, I should say. <clears throat> so we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, this is part one of the commentary. I hope you come back for parts two and three. Uh, they'll be out the, the each week, each subsequent week. Uh, yeah, like I said, um, keep listening. You know, take a time. If you haven't, if you hadn't told a friend about this podcast, go ahead and, and tell a friend. Um, but we're gonna keep doing these commentaries. And so, yeah, thank you for listening.